There's more laptops on sale today than ever, all with different specs, various form factors, and a multitude of price points. If you find yourself running out of space on your hard drive, an external storage bank is the way to go. Of course, if you have a drive not showing up on Windows 10, getting it fixed is a must. Here's what you can try. Before diving into more complex solutions, it's best to check if there are any issues with your computer's USB ports or the cable connecting the drive to your computer. Try connecting your drive using another port on your computer, or use another cable if you've got one on hand. If you have another computer on hand, try connecting your drive to that computer as well to narrow down if the issue is with the drive itself or with how your laptop reads the drive. If your disk works fine on other computers and you can't seem to connect any USB sticks or external drives to your computer, you can check disk part to see if auto mounting is enabled. Just tap your Windows key, type disk part, and click run on administrator. Click yes on anything that pops up and a terminal window will appear running the command. From here, type auto mount and hit enter to check if it's enabled. If it's not, type auto mount enable and hit enter. Once the terminal tells you that it's been successfully enabled, feel free to exit out of the terminal window and restart your computer. If you have an issue with just this external drive in particular, despite trying it on other computers and using other cables, you can try fixing it via disk management. Plug in your drive and open your device manager by right-clicking on the Windows logo from the desktop and selecting it from the menu that pops up. Check if your external drive is detected under disks at the bottom of this page. Once you've found it, give the right partition a right click and select change drive letters and paths. Click add on the window that pops up. The system will suggest a drive letter to be assigned. Click okay and your drive should show up on Windows Explorer. To check your disk for any system errors from the disk management window, just right click on the partition again, then select properties. Head over to the tools tab, then click on check. If a notification pops up, click on scan drive to begin scanning regardless. If you feel comfortable doing some terminal work, you can try checking the drive's attributes using disk part. Just tap on your windows key, type disk part, and click on run as administrator. Click yes on anything that pops up and a terminal window will appear running the command. From here, type list volumes and hit enter to show a list of connected disks on your system. You'll be able to tell your USB stick by looking at the size column. For ease of identification, it's best to unplug or disconnect any drives with a similar capacity. Once you've identified your external hard drive on the list, note the disk number and type select volume number and hit enter to select your drive. To check if there are any problematic settings, type attributes volume, then hit enter. If you see yes next to hidden and or no default drive letter, you'll have to clear them with the following commands. If you have both, just type attributes disk clear, no default drive letter. Hit enter, then type attributes disk clear hidden and hit enter again. Once the terminal tells you that it's been successfully cleared, feel free to exit out of the terminal window and unplug, then reinsert your drive if it hasn't already been detected. If it fails to show up on any of these tools or on any other computer, you might have a dead drive. If there's any chance of recovering your data, you might need to resort to professional data recovery services. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Windows and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.